Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Runaway Slave 2.0. I would like to thank all of my subs and supporters who watch, share, like, and comment on the videos. In addition, I have to give a big up to all of my people who purchased my masterpiece, The N-Word is No Secret in the Service. If you would like to purchase this masterpiece, just go to the link in the pinned comment. Thanks again, everybody. Big up to you all. Let's cook. Okay. So this story right here just happened maybe about two weeks ago, and it went down in the state of South Dakota. Now, the reason why I'm covering this story right here is only because it's one of them stories that would be major, it would be big uh, if the tables was turned, but they're not really throwing this one right out here in the algorithm or out in the media too much. It is out there, but, you know, had it been an AAU team or something like that, it would be major, major, major news. A AAU basketball team, by the way, that's what I mean. But here we go. So it went down in South Dakota. Now, South Dakota is a place that don't, it, it, it just don't seem like it's on the planet, man. I mean, a lot of us don't have no connection to the state of South Dakota, you know what I mean? But this went down in South Dakota. I've been there before. It's just different, man. I mean, but anyway, these American kids, okay? So we got some American kids, some American baseball players, okay? They play for a uh, American Legion baseball team called Mitchell Post 18. This is a baseball team, Mitchell Post 18, in South Dakota. These are all white American kids, okay? So for, the, the, for people who don't know, right, American Legion baseball is a league that you play in after high school baseball. It's a big deal, very popular nationwide, okay? Uh, many of us who have played baseball seriously in our youth played American Legion Baseball. Put it like this, let's make the comparison. American Legion Baseball is bigger or maybe two times bigger than AAU basketball, okay? That's how big American Legion Baseball is, okay? So what happened on this American Legion Baseball team, Mitchell Post 18? Six players on this team have been charged with the R word, Okay? You look at the screen, you know, they've been charged with this while taking part in a summer baseball tournament. Six players on these team. These, the, the players on this team's names are who are being charged. Hudson Haley, Landon Waddell, Carter Miller, Peyton Mandel, Carter Simpson, and Lincoln Bates. My bad, I should have went over their ages. Let me go over their ages. Hudson Haley, 18. Landon Waddell, 19. Carter Miller, 18. Peyton Mandel, 17. Carter Simpson, 17, and Lincoln Bates, 18, okay? So they have pictures right here of those who are at least 18 and up, 18 and 19. Now, they all pleaded guilty in court to sexually assaulting two 16-year-olds on this same team. Their teammates, two 16-year-olds, they all pled guilty to this. So these boys here in this picture, they claim that what they did to the two 16-year-olds on their team was part of a team hazing ritual. OK, they said, oh, no, this, this is hazing. You know, it's a ritual. But the state attorney where they're from said, no, that was not hazing. That was forcible assault. They did some terrible stuff to these boys, y'all. You know what I mean? Now, the two, Haley and Waddell, they faced the steepest charges. This guy, Haley, he was hit with two counts of the R word, as well as aiding and abetting the R word. While Waddell, he faces one count of the R word and two counts of aiding and abetting the R word. The other four athletes each face one count of the R word and aiding and abetting the R word, okay? So they got these six dudes, you know what I mean? You can only see four of them in the pictures because again, like I said, these four are being tried as adults, you know? Uh, they say these two dudes, Haley and, Land uh, and, and Landon Waddell, Landon Waddell and Hudson Haley, in these pictures, they, they can face up to 115 years behind bars if convicted. These two, they're going to face up to 150 years if convicted. Now, the state attorney also said that there could be more charges looming for any adult who knew about the sexual assaults and failed to report them immediately, okay? The state attorney wasn't playing. So the head coach, his name is Luke Norton, and also a board member named Jeremy Brogan were each charged with various misdemeanors. So... They made out, they got lucky, okay, because they was looking to see, like, are there any adults inv involved in this? They should be getting hit over the head, too. Who was responsible for supervising this team? 
But I guess when they did their looks and investigations, you know, they said, okay, we got to hit y'all with something. So they made that well. The most of these two, the head coach and his board member could get in jail is one year. So they probably won't do any jail time. Um, people, they tried to say that this was hazing, man. This baseball team tried to say it was a ritual hazing that they always did. On some nasty ritual stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? They probably they probably been doing this nasty ritual stuff for years, you know. You, you know, going up to this tournament like, hey guys, every year we go to this tournament in the mountain, you know what we got to do? It's a tradition. Come on, co come on, guys. You know, just being really nasty, you know what I mean? And people, any anywhere or anytime pretty much there's hazing and there's Europeans involved. It comes from their traditions. Any in initiation type things, boy clubs, fraternities, sports teams that have hazing, there's going to be either some direct sex going on or there's going to be some sexual assault or things that are going to be done with sexual undertones. You know what I mean? So these, these little clubs and hazing and frats, it's coming from, you know, European men and Greeks and things. And that's what they do. You know what I mean? That's what they were into. Anytime you have some hazing and some rituals, Amongst men, there's always going to be some sexual undertones or it's going to be direct sex, okay? People, you know this, you know what I mean? You can go talk to anybody that you know that's in a European-based club or group, you know, even the black groups, the fraternities and Greeks and things like that, you know, we know that based on European history, go talk to them, you know what I mean? But let me ask you, brother, get in the comments. If you are part of any European-based club, whether, I don't care if it's a thousand black people in it now, if it's based in European and Greek history, right, in order to get in, in order to get in, did you have some kind of initiation that either had sexual undertones or same sex going on? Same sexual undertone? Thank you. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. If they at least got you, if they didn't get you, if they didn't get you butt naked, they at least got you down to your drawers. If you brother, any brother or anybody, I don't care if you white, black, whatever, if you are in any club, any boy group or anything like that that has a hazing or some kind of initiation, right, going on in order to be part of this, did you have, did you at least have to get down at the, at, I mean, of course there were all kinds of things. It definitely were some sexual undertones as part of initiation, but were there at least sexual undertones? You had to have sex with a man? Or they at least got you down to your drawers? Keep it real. Get in the comments. I ain't saying everybody did the act. Many did. I'm not saying that. But it, they at least got you down to your drawers. You know what I'm saying? At the least, they got you in your drawers so they can get close to your genitals and all that stuff. You know what I mean? I'm not, And I'm not saying that anybody who is in one of these clubs plan to do this or whatever, or that they may be in this lifestyle. I'm just saying that's what they did. And a lot of times, a lot of people don't realize until they older, like, okay, damn, I'm in this, but I didn't know. You know, at the time, your, your motivation might have been to get advancement in things in life. It might have been, you know, to be part of an organization where you've seen some brothers doing something more, you know, some people doing something more, you know, to solidify your future. That, that might have been your purpose, not so much for that. But then later on, you might have went back and said, oh, man, I did that. Well, this, this all comes from these European, Greek, you know, type frat boy love groups and all the other stuff. This is what this baseball team was doing. If you talk to any, any of these dudes who are part of something, you know, that was rooted in European history or, Europe, or Greek, whatever, they all did had to do something. This team right here, they just got caught this time. That's all. You know what I'm saying? And if you are a part, I'm not saying that you living that life. I'm just saying, you know, you got down at least to your draws. Okay, that's just some American baseball news right there. Another thing, you know, hypocrisy. If this was a black AAU team, basketball, black sport, this would be all crazy over the news. This would be crazy. It's in the news, but it ain't major right here. Anyway, easy.